Hey YouTube, it's Colin and this video is going to be about my 2005 Mini Cooper S. I bought it in 2014 with 148,000 miles and I put about 10,000 miles on it since then. This video is going to be about the minor mods and maintenance that I've done to the car. A lot of you don't know this but last year I was involved in a minor car accident which wasn't my fault and I was also in a close call on my motorcycle, the electronics decided to shut off and it was just a good reminder that life here on earth is very short and that we're not guaranteed tomorrow. It didn't really bother me too much because I have assurance of where I'm going after this life and that would be in heaven because of my faith in uh, Jesus who died for my sins and I don't know what you guys believe but I really challenge you to really consider uh, not just living for today but um, maybe looking into the eternal perspective um, because Francis Chan puts it that life here on earth is very short um, compared to eternity um, in heaven. I just want to share with you that there is a God who created this world, who created you and I, who loves you and wants to have a genuine relationship with you. He says if you confess your sins and repent and believe in the Son who died for your sins, then you can spend eternity with him. That doesn't mean you and I are going to be perfect, but that's something that we strive to do. And I just want to share that with you, and you don't have to believe that if you don't want to. So without further ado, let's begin. I'm here at the Castro Street Chevron. It used to be $21.95 for a smog check plus $8.25 for the certificate, but now it's $50. Bucks. The guy agreed to charge me $45 um, total for everything. The engine bay. It's kind of dirty, like the power steering reservoir has a lot of gunk around it and everything else overall is kind of dusty. So I read that you can use scrubbing bubbles and then just spray through all of it and then rinse it down. Um, not like fully rinse it down, but maybe like a mist and then that's supposed to clean it. This is what it looks like after. I sprayed the scrubbing bubbles. I haven't rinsed it down yet. Today I'm going to install this tow hook right here. I got it online. And then the tools you'll need is the tow hook, a wrench, some Loctite, I think. The red one is the one that makes it difficult to remove, but I don't have that with me right now. And a screwdriver. So what you're going to do, there's a tab right here that you just pop out. And then you can see the threads. So this fits in right here, and you just screw it in. And this is what the finished product looks like. I also installed these Yakima roof racks with the ski holders or the snowboard holders because I'm going on a snow trip next week and I was testing out those chains earlier today. My brake pad wear indicator light went on right there. So today I'm going to change my brake pads. Not sure if you can see this but I took the brake pads off and these were the old pads. You can kind of see how thin they are and these are the new brake pads and that's the new sensor. If you look on this side, the pad's even worse. It's like super thin, so that's what it is now, and this is what it's supposed to be. I borrowed this special tool from AutoZone. Essentially, it pushes that piston back while turning it. After putting the key in the ignition and turning it twice, it took about 30 seconds for that light to go off. The car came with these black 17-inch Motegi, I think that's how you pronounce it, rims. And I'm going to switch it with another set that came with the car, just to see how different they perform. The new wheel is going on. The aftermarket rim is about 190 pounds with me on it. and. The stock ones are 180, so that's about a 10 pound difference. October 9th, 150,000 miles, I've changed the windshield wipers. 
Today I'm here at Home Depot and I bought some window washer fluid. So I'm going to be putting it in the reservoir right there and the one right here. I used up about half a gallon, more than half a gallon to fill, fill it up. I've had a crack in my windshield for quite some time. There's another one over here. Can't really see it. I bought this windshield repair kit. First, we're gonna scrape off some excess glass. There's not much. Next, we put the applicator base over. So I've placed that on, and then we put this resin chamber on top. Next, we'll put, I wanna say, four drops. Three, four. This is what it looks like on the inside. We just wait four to six minutes. I've been letting it sit in the sun for about 15 minutes, so I put one drop and then put this um, curing sheet over it. So there's like some residue that I can just scrape off. Same with here. Still a crack, but it's not as visible as it was before. The main purpose of this was to fill it up so it doesn't, the crack doesn't spread. 